everyone. We are back going to do our, actually I forgot which test this is called. Um, we have a pretty significant turn, a hairpin turn test if you will, uh, that is at the very beginning of this video here. Just a couple minutes down the video you'll see it. Um, but we're gonna see how it does here. I don't, I didn't do this test on 10.5. We decided just to go straight home. Um, from here and of course I didn't even upload this video but um, I, I'm so far um, Astral wasn't great for 10.6 but I am happy with 10.6 overall at least in my area it seems to have be having a lot of issues with city and people I think the hesitancy well really actually the biggest issue is getting in the correct lanes at the right time routing issues is what I call those uh, that is still the biggest issue. Vision continually gets better. Every update, vision seems to get better with every single update. But when it comes to like logic, oh, I, except for except for those issues, vision will, uh, for phantom braking, swerving like that, vision is that's the one thing vision needs to work on. That still needs to be improved. Um, but in terms of uh, routing, knowing when to go and when, it is much improved. Uh, sorry. Not thinking clearly. It is, needs to be improved further. That was a Kuna thing. Um, excuse my uh, ADD over here. But, so uh, yeah, we need to technically. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. Um,. There's a car behind me, um, so I didn't want to stop there. Uh, odd how it did that. Um, how it decided to just kind of swerve like that. It is stopping for the stop sign now. All the brush is cut away. Okay, so obviously failed that turn right there. I did not do that well. I wonder if it's starting to memorize spots like that, where it's like really rough and it like will memorize it and slow down. You know, I hope they do that. Um, like they said, they're gonna have adaptive suspension on Model S and X. They could still tell tell the green wise with coil suspension to slow down. Almost messed up there. I really need to get one of those stickers that says for full self driving beta test. Um, that I'm gonna the reason why it disengaged there is because of uh, there's a um, there's a curb piece sticking out in the road and I wasn't sure where that was so I was just being extra cautious I wasn't gonna risk having my car oh, crap um, yeah, so normally we stay on the outside one we're gonna go for here I was looking at this Subaru that's like has a box strapped to its back Okay, um That was my fault um, for not paying attention too closely right there I was just got distracted by this weird Subaru over here. That's definitely an illegal way to attach something to your car or not a safe way at least but This is uh, we haven't done this test in quite some time um, We're going through to West Asheville now so uh oh. Yeah, we want to go there. That's not a disengagement. That's just bad routing. I want to go through the parking lot. And speed limit, I believe, is 15 in the parking lot here. This person is waiting for me. really close to going into the curb right there in that bush. What's it doing? It's just going in the middle of the road until it sees another car. Oh, uh, maybe it saw this car right here with the flashing lights. Now, this is an appropriate time to go around the car. Did that great. 
I need to be able to read the lights. It needs to be able to read flashers, blinkers. Um, yeah, it needs to be able to read that. And it doesn't currently. It can read brake lights, but it does not read anything flashing. All those little components add up to a better driving experience. It's strictly what happens. Okay, when you get up to speed, it doesn't adjust the speed limit because I had lowered it manually for the parking lot. I need to actually, I can't remember. I think the left lane is the appropriate lane for here. Okay, so it's still swerving onto the highway, unfortunately. And it should be slowing down sooner than this. Oh yeah, that's right, this is a bug in this area. Well, it's not a bug, it's like, it's poor map data. Uh, what happens is that it doesn't have a speed limit here. And so I still have it set to 55 mile an hour from getting off the freeway right there. And it goes to 55 miles an hour on this road that's 20 miles an hour. Okay, see there's the 20. And see it's still set because I had manually overridden it earlier. It's still set to go faster. There's a car coming. We are good to go. Okay, so I made that turn well, and we are on our way to the outlets from here. This is not a route I'm going to do very often. Maybe every two or three versions I'll do this route. Maybe even every four. This one's just kind of... I don't know. Um, it, just, it has a few interesting things at the beginning, but it's just kind of... It's normal driving, uh, if you will. It's kind of nothing special. I like to give it a hard stress test, if you will. Um, now, it certainly will be good every few updates to see how it changes. Uh, especially if we're having a really good one, or if I'm not time constrained, then I will go through and do everything. Uh, it's really good to have record. I like to have consistency between my tests as much as I possibly can. Obviously, you can't control the weather, um, but it's honestly a good thing to have different weather patterns on the same route. What I can control is the route I go, unless, of course, it's a detour. The last, if you saw my earlier videos, we had a train uh, getting on our way, and we had a uh, construction sign. Uh, the road was blocked off. Um, two different times today alone, we had detours where the car just it couldn't handle it. It didn't know what to do. Uh, that is a definite must be for RoboTaxi. Level 4 requires to be able to know what to do in those situations whether or not it's going to be better just to go ahead and reroute it because it's stuck on a train or whether or not it's, it's better to just wait it out. Uh, let's see how it's going to do this turn lane here. Oh, is it getting on the highway? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want it to get on the highway. I didn't realize it was taking that route. I wanted to go down this way. Funny enough, it did. It didn't get in the wrong lane. There's a left turn lane back over here, uh, and it did not get in that lane this time. So that's good. Um. Okay, we got a car backing out onto the road. <laughs> That was an edge case. It slowed for that truck. Oh, and then slowed for the yellow light. Wow. Interesting. I didn't even notice the truck yet when it started slowing. I'm like, what's it slowing for? It, it had seen the truck crossways in the middle of the lane before I did. So that's, that's awesome. 
and it's already reacting to this red truck truck up ahead so that's really good too I'm really glad it's reacting so far ahead in a time it needs to and should they like that's acceptable level of like distance to be reacting to but I personally think as as a computer like the car should be able to react way further up ahead than that like twice the distance of that there's no reason why it shouldn't be able to like focus in on like a little detail way up ahead and like okay this car is like in the middle of the road like what's it doing and just kind of adjust uh, accordingly uh, it it can see in all directions further than we can so that's that's it should it should drive better essentially So it changed lanes strictly to get away from the cones and it needs to be slowing down. It's it's like it's like it's getting distracted, which is unacceptable for a computer. The computer can't get distracted. It's like because it's changing away from cones, it's like no longer it's now no longer paying attention to the red light up ahead. And so I hope that um that gets improved. It's like it can't multitask, which is absolutely unacceptable for a computer it needs to be able to multitask like extremely well we just have to make sure it's not going to try and turn onto the freeway here and there's another turn lane it has to pass by yeah see that's wrong that that's the turn lane to get onto the freeway it's done that multiple times i think every time i've ever been this way it will do that yeah see look Humans do it too. This person got into the wrong turn lane because they thought it was probably for the outlets, guaranteed. Or they were trying to get ahead in traffic. We'll just assume they messed up. So this is the wrong turn lane as well. This is a U-turn. It doesn't even recognize those type of arrows. Those are new since the last time. Yep, they thought that was going to that. They made the same mistake my car made. And to me, the car doesn't get that excuse. The humans do. I'm like, look, you're in a new area. You don't know where you're going. The map data, the map on your phone screen is tiny. Look, you're going to mess up. Um, so it's just going to happen. But the car, the car, as long as a Tesla has driven a route before, it should know how to, how to get to a place. And I think that's their ultimate goal is to make their own map data. And they're just they're in the beginning stages of that and that's going to be several years out before we really start seeing the fruits of that labor uh they're like as they showed at ai day they're mapping every possible scenario going through an intersection how to go through turns and everything basically the places with more teslas will have better data unfortunately but it's only a matter of time i'm seeing more and more and more uh, i used to be i'd come up the astral might get to see one or two and the entire time, now I'm seeing like 10 plus every time I go to Asheville, all over the place are being parked. I see more Model Ys now than I saw uh, Model 3s. In fact, I'm seeing more Mach E's, the Ford Mach E's, than I saw Model 3s when I first got mine. Uh, so it's really awesome to start seeing electric vehicles start popping up everywhere. Fortunately, more in the cityscape, but um, around these areas, you'll see them. I see him popping up. So as for my final thoughts on this particular route, I think it did pretty well. Uh, like I said, I haven't done it in a few updates, and I think that's a good thing to like not have done a route over a few updates because I feel like I start getting more particular about each route, and when it doesn't fix an issue, I, I downgrade it. It's like worse, um, if, if that makes sense at all. But now... Um, I'm having the press it through here. It wasn't going to go. Uh, now, it seems like this update's for sure better than the last time. Like, that's over a couple updates, so it should be. Like, three updates, if they're not better, then they're, they're doing something wrong. But that definitely seems to be a overall better um, going into this update here. Um, I'm not... They're actually turning the wrong way. Um, or not, the GPS data is wrong. Okay, so that was not a disengagement. We're just, we're actually coming back around through here. Um, 
Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this drive. The last two in Asheville weren't great, but you'll see this later in the week um, as I get them uploaded. Uh, again, if all you make it this far, I really appreciate you watching, like truly. I really appreciate you guys making it this far and keeping with me. Um, if you're not already subscribed, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in future videos. I love to see you commenting down below. I love to see the engagement. Uh, again, I appreciate everyone watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.